Our next guest is a Hollywood legend. In 1988, Scott Bakula was nominated for a Tony Award for the Broadway musical Romance, Romance. And for five seasons, he starred in that action-packed sci-fi series. Sci five series, it's called Quantum Leap. You might remember that one. Uh, then later, he solved crimes in the Big Easy on the hit show NCIS New Orleans. Well, now Scott's returning to the stage in the musical The Connector. He plays Conrad, a magazine editor who takes a young journalist named Ethan under his wing. The story examining how far Ethan would go to get the ultimate oh. scoop. Scott, good morning. Good morning. You know, it's interesting. This play is, is very prescient in that it, it now is a time where where ethics and journalism and that sort of thing really is, is center stage. Was that one of the things that attracted you to this? Yeah, the book for this is one of the best books I've ever read for mm -hmm. any musical. And sometimes I it's like a play with music. Um, so that was that has been a huge component of it. It's relevance. Uh, it's topics. It's also about women's uh, place in the workplace because it takes place in 1996. Mm -hmm. So it's a different world there, and there weren't a lot of women writers. And our our lead uh, young lady in the show, uh, Hannah Cruz, she wants to be a writer, and mm -hmm. and I ignore her because that's that's the way the world worked yeah. back then. So there's a lot going on, and then you got a Jason Robert Brown script, I um, mean uh, score, which is phenomenal. And so I was in kind of from the get-go on this one. Yeah, and you're singing throughout this hour and 45-minute show with no intermission. <laughs> so have you kept up your singing chops? I mean, how yes. how do you prepare for that? Well, I've been singing. I, I, I have a regular Friday uh, class, basically, that I mm -hmm. go to and sing, and I have for years. Uh, and whenever I'm in town, I, I'm doing that. Um, and I've always wanted to come back. And, and do a musical or more musicals in New York, and it just the timing hasn't been right. So mm -hmm. I'm uh, I'm happy that I w I wasn't scared to death when I got the call. Right. I was like, okay, I'm I'm singing. I'm yeah, I'm up to speed. It's not this. like, oh my gosh, you know, because <laughs> it doesn't just happen. You have to you mm -hmm. have to work at it. But the the show without an intermission for 95 minutes is a terrifying experience because you don't have a chance to regroup at all. You kind of get on the train and then you hang on for dear life and the audience is doing the same thing because it's kind of a ride. It's intense and then you're and then it's over. But that took some, that was the hardest thing to adjust to. Really, was just no break, no intermission to like, okay, how are we doing? <laughs> right. yeah, a good right. audience Reset. tonight, not a good audience. Uh -huh. like, oh my, I'm, you suck or whatever. You know, it's like, <laughs> you come on, you know, do that Djokovic thing and go in the mirror and yell yeah, in the mirror yeah. and say, you know, uh, so uh, you don't have that. You just you. You're, you got to go for it. Mm -hmm. Music's always been a major part of your, your career, though. Where, where, where was that love of music? Where was it born? When was it born? Uh, piano was in my house my whole life. My dad played, my mom played, uh, and everybody sang. I started singing when I was a very young person. I, I had a rock band in the fourth grade. Uh, really? Started wow. then, yeah, with what was the band? Beatles what was the name Mop. Of the band? We didn't have a name in fourth grade because <laughs> we were wearing Beatles Mop, so I guess we were thought we could a fool Beatles it. cover band. Yeah, exactly. In the four, and we I were lip syncing that. also. And no, it was yeah. terrible. It was it terrible. Was terrible. <laughs> but but then we got we got serious in fifth grade and we had a we had a serious band that we did, you know, That's old awesome. time yeah. Well, well, switching gears, I found this kind of fascinating. Your name has come up a number of times in Only Murders in the Building. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's just take a, a quick look. Are you not Scott Bakula? I am not. I'm doing stunts for Bakula next week in L.A. Are you cheating on me with Scott? Seeing her wedding dress is like a punch in the gut. I hear she's with Bakula now. Scott or Jeff? Scott. Who's Jeff Bakula? What do you know so what the funny. deal is with that? I do not. Really? I do not. I serious. Uh, I, the co-creator of the show uh, was a writer on another show that I did years ago on HBO called Looking, and so there's some connection there. But I have no. I, I love that show. I love those guys, and uh, I, uh, I. I'm just. I'm just delighted. Of course, of course. I bumped into Jane Lynch last year at, a, at a, the Carol Burnett 90th birthday party, and she said, "I'm saying your name on Monday." <laughs> And I said, what? what? She said, yeah, I'm back on murders. And, and she didn't even know that it had been said before. She said, oh. aren't you excited? I said, it, I don't know what's going on over there, Jane. She didn't either. Oh, yeah. wow. that's fantastic. That's awesome. But I love the show. So speaking of shows that we love, Al, I know, like, biggest fan of Quantum Leap ever. Yes. I know there's a reboot, but the original was 35 years ago. It's been a minute. I mean, what, <laughs> yeah. what are some of your favorite memories from that time? Well... Um, other than the fact that they tried to kill me every week, by getting, you know, <laughs> put, hanging me upside down in a trapeze and putting me on a wild horse and, you know, riding, you know, holding pigs and doing crazy things. Working with idea. Dean Stockwell was, was oh. my, is my oh. most fond memory and losing him a couple of years was, ago was pretty, pretty difficult. 
but um, he taught me so much and he had such a good attitude about the business. He'd been in it forever. And at the time, was, this was, I'd done a few shows and, uh, that I'd starred in already on television, but being with him day after day for years was just a, mm. the best. And I learned yeah. a lot about yeah. life from him also. I'm sure. Yeah. That show was so far ahead of its time because yeah. it, it dealt with so many social issues and, and with humor and with pathos. It was, it was, it was wonderful. And you were terrific. Well, thanks. Thanks. That's Scott, we really appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Scott. Thanks for And here. don't forget, you can see Scott in The Connector at MCC Theater. Tickets on sale right now. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.